I'm down in Calador looking at this fantastic Princess 72. It's a 2014 example and this is run by boats.co.uk as a charter boat. So we're doing a full tour of this one. We're doing interiors, engine room, crew cabin, deck layout, a lot. But actually we're doing something rather special as well with it, which I will come to at the end of the video. So stay with me, but let's do the tour first. So, stepping on board, we've got this great cockpit area. And then we'll head on the inside, we'll do the interior first and then we'll work our way out as normal. So this is the saloon area. And this is a really beautiful area. I love the way they've done this seating. It's really sociable all the way around the boat. There's a pop-up TV, of course, that is in behind here. And as we head on further forward, there's a dining area. And that is directly opposite the galley. So it's really good to be able to cater straight across. That works very well. The galley itself, that's a great size. All electric cooking, of course, massive fridge freezer, and uh, and plenty of storage tucked around the place. And there's even a little ice maker tucked away here, which is busy making ice as we speak. And then ahead of that is the helm position. So this is a typical princess with these lovely leather seats and these twin screens. So we're showing chart plotter on one at the moment. This is where we are down in Calador and then radar on that side at the moment, and then all of your instrumentation and engine controls across there. But that's a really beautiful area, and I like the woodwork in this as well. This has got the satin finish, and it's a nice subtle color, so I think that works really well. Anyway, let's go on downstairs, and I'll show you the accommodation. So, we'll head down this passageway. This is the ship's electronics here, so this controls the whole boat with this touch screen and these buttons around here. And as we head forward, this one's all set up for a charter, so it is literally awaiting its guests. And they've done it beautifully. This is a great room, love this little dressing table. It's a wardrobe, of course, and storage all the way around. And then there are big drawers under the bed, so there's masses of space to put all your gear. And then up above, you've got this access hatch and skylight. And this has its own ensuite. Typical princess, really nice. Separate shower stall. Okay, so then there are two more guest cabins. We head on back. In fact, what we'll have to do is have a quick look in here because this is the day heads. So this is accessed directly from the passageway, but it's also accessed from this cabin. So this is cabin three. Really lovely size. And again, all beautifully set up, awaiting its guests. You've got TVs in here, of course, AV systems, wardrobes again. This door then is ensuite access through to that day toilet. So at night, you can go straight into there. But that toilet is then also used by another cabin, which we can find if we tuck ourselves around here. So this is cabin four. But although it is the smallest cabin, you're certainly not shortchanged. You've got full headroom if I walk into here, all the way through. And it's beautifully finished. I love the way they've done all this. That looks great. Again, all set up for charter, all ready to go. And then this one's got its own little dressing area, wardrobe on the back wall and so on. And then finally is the master cabin. So if we head down here, a couple of things to point out as we go down. On this side, there is a washing machine. And on this side, tumble dryer by, are you ready for this? Miele. That is a Miele tumble dryer. I finally nailed it. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't, you wonder what the hell I'm on about. But trust me, Miele has been a big, <laughs> a big subject of this channel. I think I've cracked it. Let me know if I have. Anyway, let's head on back master cabin, all set up for its lucky guests. How nice is that? So you've got, again, AV system, of course, on the wall. You've got big hull windows on either side. So when you're at anchor or on a mooring buoy, you've got a great view out. Lovely little couch just here, you can tuck yourself away. Big dressing table on that side. Beautiful. Let's head on back. These are your wardrobes. 
so they're tucked away at the sides. There's drawers underneath this one as well. So if we open that right up, you've got loads of space for all your gear. And if that's not enough for you, there's yet more here. And more storage. Awesome. And finally this cabin, of course, in this section is its heads. Twin sinks, toilet as well, of course, and a big rainfall shower at the back. How nice is that? And again, look, this is all set up. There are guests on this boat in no time at all, actually. We'll come back to that. What a great cabin that is. Just superb, beautiful. Okay, let's head on around the rest of the boat. So, back up into the saloon. There's access from here directly out onto the decks. You can see it over here. So in fact, I think we'll go out that way. Why not? I'll go around the back. So let's cut through here. And this will lead us out onto the side deck and then straight onto the front of the boat. And up here, we've got this wonderful seating area and then sun loungers on the front. So that's giving a great view out. I love these deeply bulwark side decks. Feels really nice as you walk around the boat. All your anchoring kit is here. And then a few back down the boat. Cool, let's head down this side. You can feel what a big boat this is as you walk around it. It's actually quite a stroll from one end to the other. Okay. So at the back of the boat then, we have got things like the bathing platform. Now this is a high-low platform. I've mentioned these several times on these tours. They don't usually have a dinghy on, so you can see exactly how this works. That sat on chocks. If you get right down underneath, you can see them. And tied down, and it means that this whole platform from here back lowers to drop that dinghy straight into the water. And this is a Williams jet rib, so that's a fast dinghy. You could ski off of that. That's really good. And then the crew area is in here. So let's head on down. We've got generators running at the moment. And in here, it's a couple that are running this boat, so they have a double bed. You've got AV equipment in here. It's air conditioned. Lights up the head of the bed. Nicely finished as well. All the woodwork in here is exactly the same as it is in the rest of the boat. Loads of storage. We won't go into there because that's a personal area. And then just behind here, these lighting controls, air conditioning controls, and an ensuite. And this has a proper separate shower area, as you can see, just in behind there. So that, for this size of boat, is a rather nice little crew cabin. It certainly works for the guys who run this one. Okay, let's head on out. We'll take a look at the engine room. Generator is out here. And if we head on forward, this is the engine room. We've got water makers running at the minute, so it is a little bit noisier than normal. So hopefully you can hear me okay. Now in here, these engines are Caterpillars. They are C32s, they're 1,600 horsepower each, and these are giving the boat about 35 knots. So for the size of the boat, it really does tramp on. And in terms of range, a lot of people ask about range. Well, at 10 knots, you're getting about 800 miles out of this boat. Now these fellows up above, these are the water makers, and there's two of them. There's this one on this side, and there's another one over here. The reason it has two is one of them takes seawater, purifies it, turns it into drinking water, and the other one, well, that actually takes dockside water, and again, it purifies it, makes it absolutely crystal clear. So you've got really good fresh water systems on the boat. What else we show you? This is all the hydraulics here for things like the bow thrusters, stern thrusters, anchor winch, that kind of thing. A lot of engineering going on in here. And this is a ladder that goes up. You can see there's a, a hatch above us here. And, uh, and that takes us straight into the cockpit. Okay, let's come out of here. And the only area we haven't done is the flybridge. A 
lot of fluff stuck away in here, there's one on each side and another one up on the bridge. Okay, we'll finish off with that flybridge. Here we go. Okay, so this is the flybridge. See, we've got the bimini over here at the moment and then this is a bar area. So underneath here is the barbecue and this one is a well-stocked fridge. Okay, some beds on the back and look at these sun lounges and sea bobs. We are all ready to go for a charter. And some very lucky people. Okay, let's head on forward. Big dining area around here. So that's a great place to eat outside. And the upper helm. And that, as they say, is that. But it's not quite that, because I mentioned the little surprise at the end. Well, the surprise is, we've got this boat. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. We've got, Jesus. But the big news is, we have got this boat for the next 48 hours. We're actually the people doing the charter. There's another video coming very soon. We're going to show you the entire charter experience on B4. It's going to be amazing. Stay tuned.